Scorpio and Pisces, my last reading of the evening. Getting to the lighting, getting to the lighting. I want to turn this one down. Don't let me get distracted. We are here to talk about your life, okay? We're here for a lunar read. There is a new moon in Sagittarius taking place on the first day of December. So, you know, girl, this is a sneak peek, a preview of how you're going to enter the month of December, how you're going to be proceeding throughout the month of December. Let's take a look. Um, you can have sun or moon and a water sign and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Please make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel, please. And thank you. Socials are on the screen and in the description box down below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So, as you know, new moon's going to set the tone for the um, upcoming weeks, the upcoming month for how you're going to be um, moving, how you're going to be acting. Now, because a Mercury retrograde is going to be happening alongside this new moon, you can expect some redirection to be occurring in your life. It's like moving away from one thing because you're being pulled, pulled towards something else, right? Um, and this could vary from in regards to opportunities, um, certain skills or talents that you have wanting to find out what they are wanting to further them um or just certain experiences that you want to start having for yourself certain things you want to start knowing learning about right Sagittarius is a very um thirsty for knowledge energy okay overall energy overall energy um that you're going to be in is divine timing this for me as you know things will happen as they should when they should how they should as long as you let them now this was a juicy one you water signs you the only one out the readings who got a little bit of trauma showing up fraud scammer and liar the first thing that came to mind is it's, it was only a matter of time before some of you guys were able to find out someone's true intentions see someone's true colors really see who someone is beneath the surface and i feel as though this could be happening in the month of december or entering the month of december you have found this out about somebody or about people it doesn't have to be a specific person how is this new moon in sagittarius taking place on december 1st 2024 affecting all water signs. Remember, you can have sun or moon in a water sign. Eight of swords. Well, that's a messy card. Paired with the messies of the mess. Seven of swords. You ever you ever be like, why can't I figure this out? It's probably because it's some, some bullshit. You know, it just don't make sense. It's a scam. But that's what it that's what the situation looks like and sounds like to me. It's like some of you guys have you ever been like, I can't figure this person out, I can't figure this out, I can't figure these numbers out. Somebody cooking the book, somebody lying to you, you are being led astray, bamboozled, all right. You purposefully being confused or kept out of the loop or misinformed. Is on purpose. Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Chariot. And of course, it's being done by somebody. Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Chariot card. Have you ever been like somebody's actions don't line up with their um, words? I just feel as though some of you guys... It's not hard to figure out somebody. They're a liar. If you can't figure out why somebody says this, says this but does this, it's because they're a fake. They're a phony. They're not who they pretend to be. And I feel as though some of you guys, this is definitely the case with an air sign or an earth sign. I just see that someone with the seven of swords and the cherry card, they always have a hidden intention, a hidden motive. They are never someone who is moving with integrity or authenticity authenticity yeah um this for me is like this is not someone that you want to trust this is not someone who you want to depend on they will flip on you if the opportunity benefits them okay heavy on the air heavy on the earth four of pentacles and the queen of pentacles this is not somebody who you should break bread with share your finances with get involved with financially um keep pursuing or keep dealing with keep interacting with six of swords this is somebody that you should leave alone heavy on the air aquarius and gemini is very strong but so is taurus
Yeah, this for me is like if you was to lend something to this person, Age of Swords, you're going to be frantically worried about where this person at with your shit. Are they going to pay you back? Are they going to be considerate of your things? Because you know they're not. It's like letting somebody borrow your car. You know it's going to come back fucked up. Something's going to be wrong. Tire going to be uh, uh, flat. No gas in the bitch. Check engine light on. This shit was perfect when I gave it to you. What's happening? How is this new moon Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024, affecting all water signs? I just think somebody here is not a suitable candidate for a spouse, partner, business partner, friend. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of uh, Cups. I see some water signs trying to figure out whether or not they should keep um, some water signs have some options um, available to them. Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Magician. This for me is, you know, if, if someone here is dating, they have multiple people who want to be with them or multiple people who they can choose to date exclusively. And they could be, you know, trying to figure out who they want to pick. Um, this is someone here having, you know, um, multiple opportunities or avenues that they could take in regards to magician, you know, um, planning some sort of future out of king of swords you know maybe somebody here wants to get into media creation um engineering something to do with music artistry oh uh, but it's like oh my god how am i gonna do that and take care of the bills and be responsible and be a parent and you know pay my rent you know how am i gonna follow my dreams and do this are you asking the universe how are they gonna make things happen okay but that's 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 what that sounds like to me it's like with divine timing it's like listen if you want to start moving a certain way you got to start moving a certain way and you can't automatically be like oh the obstacles okay now don't just dive head first into shit like a maniac right but like I said, whenever it comes to you starting things or going after things, you can't automatically focus on everything that you have to overcome. You know, you got to be a little bit idealistic. How is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024, affecting all water signs? The Four of Wands with the Five of Pentacles, yikes. Um, someone is trying to figure out how am I going to pay rent? How am I going to find a home? How am I going to change my living situation? I'm worried about money. I don't want to be here anymore with this person. Good God. Because I, I, there, There's so much on my mind. That's how some water signs good for. There's just so much on my mind. And I just want to follow my dreams. <laughs> but I have responsibilities that I have to take care of. But I want to follow my dreams. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. It's just like, damn, can I get a break? That's how you could feel like water signs. It's like, damn, yo. I just wish the rent was paid, mortgage was taken care of, house stayed clean, kids stayed fed and taken care of. And I can just move. It ain't that easy, player. How is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024, affecting all water signs? It ain't that easy. Two of Cups. Oh, God. And then you want to throw some romance on top of it. Nothing wrong with that, but in this case, it might be. So... We have the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Somebody here is having buyer's remorse. That's what the fuck I heard. Buyer's remorse or second thoughts about whether or not they want to date somebody 
exclusively, seriously, move in with them, continue living with them, work out a relationship with them. It's like, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of apprehensive about it. Eight of Swords. It's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, this could be someone here who's having misplaced thoughts. I'm gonna be real. With, I'm, well, let me say this: misplaced priorities. No disrespect. It's like you shouldn't be worrying about who you can slide up in or who you can slide up on. And you know, you ain't even straight financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually. But you worried about being in love. No disrespect, but you got bigger fish to fry. Be careful about being that water signs, please. It's like you worry about the wrong thing. Five of Swords, King of Swords, and Nine because you worry about why this man ain't texting you back. Why you ain't calling Duke Energy back about their money? What you doing? Okay? You worry about what this man, what this woman doing, and how they feel about you, but your priorities ain't together. Some water signs are in that boat. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, so pretty. Some water signs, eight minus five equals three of swords, king of swords, and the knight of cups. Um, someone here know they, know they don't want to be with somebody. Nine of pentacles and the four of wands, but there's a certain stability that comes with them staying with them. You know, I got somewhere to live. We got somewhere to live. We can combine finances. It's cheaper. It's more cost effective. The kids get to be with each other if there are kids involved. But what kind of life is this? I'm being real. I ain't even trying to be funny. But what kind of life is that? Because this is two people, two single people in a relationship. Two people that really want to be single, but it's more convenient and financially effective for them to be in a relationship. But somebody here was really not happy with this setup. Oh, child. How... Is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024, affecting all of the water signs? The Fool with the Hangman. Yeah, somebody out here wants, I want to break free. Y'all heard that commercial? I forgot what that commercial was for. But somebody here wants to be set, set free from a certain situation, a certain relationship. Just leave them. Just break up. Ah, what's going to happen if I do that? Girl. Girl. You know what it gives? Somebody here dove head first into something way too fast, way too early on. And I don't really think they knew exactly what they was getting into. Is it somebody here rushing to live with somebody, rushing to start a relationship with someone, rushing to have children, rushing into a commitment of any sort? And now they're like, oh, wow, eight of swords. This is too much. Two of uh, full card and two of cups. I want to be somewhere else. Or some of you guys are realizing that you might have gotten into something to where it's like, this is not what it presented itself to be. This person is not who they presented themselves to be. And now with the full car, I want to be rid of this. I want to be free of this. How is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024, affecting all water signs? The Ten of Cups. This is really sad. Because I see this happening to someone's relationship, but not just relationship. There are children. There is marriage. There is a home. There is property involved here. And somebody here is really like, I don't know. You know, I think I love my wife. Y'all know that movie? That's what just came to mind. I think I love my wife. I think I love my husband. What the fuck is this? Fool card. Somebody here is realizing I do not want to be with this person. I do not like this person. I do not like this job. I don't like this house. I don't like this city. It's like coming to the realization that you really don't like something. 
not your cup of tea. Either it's not what you thought it was going to be. It dressed itself up as something that it's not. Or you had to get into something and really experience something for you to know, oh, oh, no, I don't want this. Yeah, look. Ten of Pentacles, death card. Somebody wants a divorce, a separation, wants to quit a job. Someone here wants to leave. An eight of Swords is almost all they can think about. Leaving this person, leaving this contract, leaving the city. Now, some people, it ain't all that. It ain't, it ain't, you know, that spooky. Some, some people are just, you know, girl, it's a lot of obligations and responsibilities that come with managing your own household, um, having kids, having a child with somebody. Fool card. It's, it's like, damn, this is something that you haven't experienced before. And it's like, who this is a lot. You're having to deal with a lot of changes that you're not used to. You haven't experienced before. Being a new parent, being a new homeowner, being um, in a new city, being in a new, a new space of some sort. Wanting a new space of some sort. How? Excuse me. Is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024, affecting all water signs? Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Some water signs are like, you know, when is it going to be me? When am I going to get my home? When am I going to get my man? When am I going to move? When will it be me? Girl, give it time. It's going to happen when it should. What you shouldn't be doing is just settling for any and everything. Fraud, scammer, and liar. While you waiting for your prince charming, your princess charming, your um, dream home, dream car, dream job, that new era, food card, seven of pentacles, wait your turn. Don't just hop in the shit. How is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024? Affecting all water signs. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Sometimes you just got to let shit happen. Water signs, some of you guys might be prone to uh, overthinking and overanalyzing how each step of your journey is going to pan out. How are things going to work out? How are things going to happen? And you can't stress yourself out mentally, physically, spiritually, or emotionally like that. Like I said, with the food card, you just got to let shit happen. Let things flow. However shit happens is how it happens. I mean, make sure you, you know, you present. <laughs> Make sure that you are showing up. Make sure that you are interfering when you need to interfere. But you just got to let things um, happen as they should. Whenever it comes to food card, you um, trying new things, having new experiences, entering new chapters in life. Yeah, I'm hearing you can't control everything. Or you're not going to be privy on what's going to happen next in every situation. Last card. How is this new moon in Sagittarius affecting all water? Nine of swords. But it fell out on the floor. Yeah, yeah, sometimes when you just, you know, just let shit happen. That's how you get rid of the anxiety, the fear, the worry. How is this new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 1st, 2024? Affecting all water signs. The Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. <sighs> like I said, some of you guys just have to, you know, give a little bit of wiggle room, be willing to be willing to let things, you know. Sometimes things will fall out of place and usually they fall right into place. Sometimes you got to move a different way for you to get different results, right? It's 
sometimes you get into certain relationships or certain environments or certain commitments and you realize maybe this ain't what you want. And with the food car, you got to be willing to walk off. <laughs> not, not, oh God, not as dry as walk off, but sometimes you got to be willing to call a spade a spade and be like, you know what? I don't want this anymore, but don't keep pretending Fraud, scammer, and liar. Don't keep pretending that you want something or that you're okay with something. And with the eight of swords, you really can't stand being there. You really can't stand being here. Don't fake the funk. Why you fronting? All right. If this applies to anybody that you might know, it could be a Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Heavy on the Virgo. Heavy. Heavy on the Virgo. All right. This was your new moon reading. Check that chart. You could have sun, moon, sun or moon in a water sign, or maybe you're rising. The full card is a water sign.